Hello everybody, the question for today is Can you charge a mobile phone with an induction cooker? And the answer is both yes and no. I mean no. Seriously, don't even try it this way. This is a really stupid idea. There is however the way we could try. We will need an electrical wire, insulation strippers, few zip ties, and a cheap oscilloscope. You got one in your kitchen, right? Let's cut some wire, fold it into round loops and secure it with zip ties. Strip some insulation and this is the final induction loop. Let's position the loop on the cooker, connect the oscilloscope and power it on. Now it's time to cook. Well, what is happening is the cooker is refusing to start. It displays an F message since it does not detect any suitable pot. Oh, and by the way, there is actually something happening, but we are not there yet. So we need to get the cooker something to cook. Let's grab a pot and add some water to cool it. Put the pot on the cooker and... And I think we can call it a success. The oscilloscope is showing some voltage. This is an AC voltage though. And what we need is a DC. Okay, time for stage two. Put it simply, we need a rectifier. And the simplest rectifier consists of a diode and a capacitor. That's it. And because it's a rectifier, we can expect a DC voltage. So we can connect this voltmeter. Power it on and boom, 30 volts DC. Great. But that's a little too much. That's why I made a smaller loop with only two turns instead of five. This way the voltage should drop from 30 to around 12 volts. Let's connect it. No. At this point I decided I'm done with this method and decided to solder everything, at least temporarily. I also added some wire for the output. Oh, and by the way, if you want more info about how the stuff works in future videos, please leave me a comment below. Thank you. This is how ready rectifier looks like. So time for another try. Let's power it on. And yes, that's another success. So to charge a mobile, we need only two things more. First, you need to click the subscribe button below. This really helps my channel. Thank you. The second thing is a voltage converter. At first, I was thinking that I need a step up converter. But since what we get from the loop is much higher than 5 volts, we need a step down converter. Like this one, I bought a while ago for around $2. It delivers 3 amps max at 5 volts and can be powered with up to 38 volts DC. I also got an USB meter. Let's power it down again. It works. It just works. Perfect. The last question is, can it actually charge something, like the mobile phone? Let's grab one, connect it, and look at this. And again. And again. It's charging. So yeah, you can charge mobile phone on an induction cooker. That's it for today. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe and give a like. Thanks for watching, have a good one and see you soon!